that by daylight has always had a very active community, constantly speculating about future content, lore, and wild theories about the game. The most hyped debates are which future DLC will be added in Dead by Daylight, and early in the game that was a very popular topic, and still is to this day. After all, that's where the crawler rumor began. But there is another rumor that is way more popular than the crawler, and most of you probably heard about it. My name is Minskull, and today, on Mysteries of the Fog, we're going to be talking about the teacher. Let's start from the beginning, the start of the rumors of the teacher. The game was released on June 14th officially, and by that time, the players already knew that the game would receive new content updates including new maps, survivors, killers and perks. Two days later after the release of the game, the crawler was rumored to be the next killer in Dead by Daylight. Everyone was hyped for a female killer, and also, it was the first ever DLC coming to the game. But the developers quickly stopped the rumors of the crawler, instead confirming that the next killer is something completely different. Like in any video game, a group of data miners started to look inside the files for clues on the next chapter. The files for this game were very easy to access, and basically anyone could do it with a PC. What they did not expect to find is the amount of unused content that was hiding in plain sight. For some reason, on July 2016, one month after the release of the game, people found out the icon for a killer power, unused perks, an unused apple item, and more. This is the beginning of the teacher. Everyone was hyped, a new teacher killer to be included in the game. Speculation was rampant and the imagination of people was wild a school map, an evil teacher, and possibly their student as a survivor. The idea was very cool. People started to put their ideas on every single leaked file. The power of the teacher was called Detention, which had a ruler icon, an item very associated to teachers, specifically the old school ones that would hit you for misbehaving. The item is a trapple, and as you may know, apples are stereotypically used as a reward that students can give to teacher so they'd leave them alone. However, this apple had what it looks like spikes all over it, meaning that it could have been an item used to stun the killer. The only perk that could have been associated with the teacher was called Underperform, which shows a survivor with a dunce cap, again, something very associated with schools and punishment. What was very interesting is that not a single of these had any code associated to them, no power, no perk description or numbers, and nothing either for the trouble. But that's not the weirdest part. There was no model, texture, or anything that showed us how any of these would look like in-game. And this also was connected to the map, because there was no work in progress, test or prototype of it. Nothing. Absolute zero. Why is this so weird? During this same data mine, some other files were also leaked, like I mentioned before. One of them was the hatchet power that ended up being the power of the hunters a year later. Some of the perks that were also leaked, like In the Dark and Last Standing, were also usable. And last but not least, maps for the swamp like Village, Dead Lake and even the Asylum were being worked on. The thing is, unlike any of the files that were related to this teacher killer, there was no evidence in the files of a school, a teacher, a new survivor, nothing. Even the unused perks that I mentioned earlier, in the dark and last standing, had a coded effect on them. So if you brought them in a game, you would actually use them. However, with the teacher files, the only thing that proved its existence were the icons. No coding, no programming, just UI. A new killer was soon coming on August. A lot of people were hyped. By previously confirming that the crawler will not be the next killer in DVD, most people assumed that it was going to be the teacher. But then, the new DLC was revealed. The first ever DLC was none other than The Last Breath, with the nurse, Nia and the asylum map. And that was it. Nothing in this DLC used any of the previously leaked assets of the teacher. Some people thought that the nurse is a finalized product of the teacher and that we will never get the teacher anymore. Others thought that the teacher was going to be the next killer after that, but in the end, 
it ended up being Michael Myers, then The Hag, then Doctor, and then Huntress. And with The Huntress, the Hatchet Killer was completed, and the only killer that was left to be revealed was the teacher. As of the release of this video, five years later, the teacher has been completely forgotten by many, and it's not going to be a thing as of yet. But what is very weird is that, despite the teacher not being added to the game, some files appeared inside the game also possibly related to the teacher. The gum add-on has a Steam discussion post made in 2017, and the graduation cap offering also apparently appeared later, and resurfaced when the ghost face was leaked. Finally, there's apparently an inhaler that also appears to be unused according to the DVD wiki, but nobody has ever mentioned it outside of this wiki. But what made this worse were the interviews that a very popular content creator and fog whisperer, The King, had done with Makoud, where he asked about the teacher files directly to him. This is his answer the first time he was ever asked. This one is, is pretty interesting. Will we ever see the teacher files being used? Yes. Yes. There's something to do with them. Okay. And uh, years later, in 2020, King and Polly Esther asked the same questions again, to which he answered with this. Will the teacher files ever be used again? Have they been used? Well, that was the, the other part, or have they been used yet? That's my question. Have they been used? I, I've never I seen them in so. game. i never seen them. Then okay. you have work to do. <laughs> oh, no. He's saying they've been used in some way? Oh my god! I will leave both of the videos in the description for you to check out. So now, the question is, who is the teacher? Was it an early killer that got scrapped? Or was it all a hoax? I believe I know the answer. And you will know too after listening to my two crucial pieces of evidence for you. So before I reveal the answer, I would like to tell you what I researched. My first issue with the teacher and what makes them unique compared to every single leak in the game is that none of his files had any coding around it, no mention in programming. This meant that there was no power, no numbers, no effect of the perks, no model for the teacher, the rule he used in his power, no model for the trouble item either. Every single evidence we had of the teacher's existence was from the UI icons that were found inside the icons folder of DVD. When the hatchet icon was datamined, some time later hackers were able to use the hatchet power in-game by hacking it inside. Not only that, but they could also hack unused items like firecrackers, unused perks like last standing, and even unused clothing. Not a single file for the teacher had any in-game usage. Second of all, almost every killer up to the Huntress had some evidence of being in the files before they were added. For the hack, the swamp maps were already planned from the start. For the nurse, the asylum map was already being worked on on the beta of the game. Hunter's power was also planned from the start, and if you watched my Wraith video, you would know that Myers potentially also, though this day, there is no other evidence that the teacher ever exists. But not only that, the teacher's icons and power name look like they are finished. There hasn't been any case of a killer having their power leaked before we even knew their name. The only case that was close was the Huntress, but the hatchet power was literally that an unfinished hatched icon that is not the same as the final design. However, when you look at the tension, it is practically a professionally made power icon, it's finished. Same as for the perk underperform. The rest of unused perks had no icon, they had the name on it, but for underperform, the art was already done. Isn't it quite paradoxical? How come a power perk and even the trouble item with such a polished icon had nothing else for them. How is it that this is the only case in the entire game where there was no other evidence for their existence? No maps, no sounds, 
No string in the code. Nothing. With the amount of care that the icons were done, it almost looked like it was done on purpose to mislead everyone. Let me introduce you to Sarah Robinson, the lead UI designer of Dead by Daylight. She was the main developer who was in charge of the entire iconography of Dead by Daylight. So if you like the iconic style of every single pair, add-on and power in the game, then you can thank her for it. Also, she is the voice of Claudette Morel. So if you learned this fact or you find this video interesting, consider dropping a like now. Anyways, why did I bring her to this vid? Well, one day after the release of the Chains of Hate DLC, Sarah posted this image to her Padlet page. Notice something weird about it. Well, if you look on the secondary monitor, you can see all of the three original unused icons for the teacher, right there, exposed for everyone to see. This is the only time an official behavior employee had direct connection with the icons in the game. This sparked rumors of the teacher back in the game. But what was the point of that? Well, I believe that the teacher was a red herring from the beginning. The only purpose of the teacher was to just troll the data miners with a fake killer power and let the community start speculating. After all, a strong speculative community means a strong invested community as well. That was the entire purpose of every single icon in the game that was related to the teacher. Think about it. Why would behavior leave these unfinished, professionally done icons in the game for everyone to see so easily? Why was there nothing that even hinted at the teacher killer besides these icons? It seemed like it was something done in purpose to bait the community. And it was. And it worked. Even in the previous image that I showed, there's Zarina Kassir on the right, which has the red herring perk. I don't know if this is just a coincidence, but anyways. Everyone strongly thought that the teacher would sometime come to the game, but it was all a massive troll. And this was also confirmed on the 5th anniversary by none other than the creator of this joke, Sarah. As in one of the anniversary quotes, she revealed that it was all to mess with the community. And as for McCode's words on the interviews, the icons were already used in the game. And their purpose? Well, purposefully mislead data miners into believing into this teacher killer. So that is all. The oldest rumor in Dead by Daylight turns out to be a troll made by the developers. Hopefully this video was fun. If it is and you enjoyed it, consider checking out the rest of the content in my channel. As always, thank you for watching and have a nice day.